Democrats in the Senate have been trying to operate our session uh, in an unlawful manner by passing bills that don't meet state law. And the bills that they want to pass without uh, the proper process are extreme national liberal agenda type bills. And we're standing against those because we believe that they're even too extreme for Oregon. So not only do we want a lawful process and all Oregonians to be heard, but we also don't want these extreme uh, bills that are uh, in many cases, not only unlawful, but also unconstitutional. So we have worked together as the House and Senate Republicans to come up with a plan. And that plan uh, was instituted this past week and we paused the session because the Senate president is recklessly, uh, I think, uh, driving democracy into a ditch and it's important that we get it back on track. So Republicans have offered to work in a bipartisan way to help fix the summaries of the bills that are unlawful, but the bills that are extreme and unconstitutional, we want to die. Uh, and those include bills like House Bill 2002 that um, we think are so extreme and actually we've heard from Democrats that they're so extreme that even some Democrats won't support them. And I'm talking about right now, uh, Oregonians. Of course, so I, I wanna thank you guys for uh, your involvement and for your, your time tonight. And uh, I wanna, uh, again, thank my House Republican colleague and leader who's done just a fantastic job uh, working with us and team this up because we believe the Senate has the best opportunity uh, to defeat these, uh, these bills. And the only way we're going to defeat them is if we uh, are successful and letting the uh, Senate Democrats know that we're just not gonna put up with uh, what's been going on in the Senate. So thank you. I think uh, we want to hear something um, from our representative, Vicky Bruce Iverson as well. So it's all yours, representative. Thank you, Justin. And thank you, Senator Knope. I appreciate everyone who has joined us tonight. You know, part of what we want to do is, and we've said it from the get-go, from the very beginning of elections, we want to do it different. We want to make sure that we've got more of a collective approach and that we're working together across the building and in the, I mean, to, from the House to the Senate to make sure that we're, we're coordinated and we're strategic and we did that election cycle. Now we're, now we're doing it in the, during the session cycle and the, the Senator very nicely led into it. And I'll just expand a little bit. From the very beginning, we knew that we were going to get bad bills. We didn't know the scope of them. We didn't know how bad they would be. We had suspicions. We all along knew that we didn't have the same President Courtney that we had in the past that helped us in a very strategic way inside the building to, to try to minimize things. And so it was kind of a, an open an open barrel, if you will, of, of newness and what we were getting. And um, we're not disappointed. It's an open barrel of newness. But in that, I, I do want to let everybody that's listening here know that that the senator and I would meet regularly. We we and we do talk more than more than once a day usually to to just try to stay coordinated in what it is that we see and we hear that's coming. And that's how we came came at the the uh, strategic approach to these bills. And I know from from watching from the outside, you know, there's two separate things going on here from the different chambers. But the reality of the the where this came from or where this started was was knowing that they were starting on the House side and that we were hearing them first in our committee hearings and making sure that we were working with the the partners that are in the um, in the advocacy firms to to try to find the the opposition to try to find where we had opportunity for lawsuits 
to find all the holes that we could find in these in these conversations and working from the Senate to the House to put together from what I can attest to and, and the senators definitely been there longer than I have but the longest session on one bill that that I know of, which is we had an 11 hour session on uh, 2002, trying to make sure that we we got the opportunity to refer that back to whatever committee we could get to um, and, and debate it and talk about why it needed to go back to those committees. And at the same time, raising awareness of what it is that was inside that bill to make sure that every Democrat that was on the House floor heard the things, heard heard what was in that bill, because in the process of of running it through only one one public hearing and out the out the door, and then for 2005, I would say that that uh, the the omnibus scandal. Um, there were certain things that we worked to to make sure were put on record so that the the unconstitutionality of that bill was highlighted and we wanted to make sure that we teed it up for what we we believe will be the the lawsuit that strikes it down in Oregon like it has in several other states and in addition to that my caucus was so was so uh they had they were so behind what we were doing we did put together a large chunk of dollars that we commit to that lawsuit that we know will happen. And that was done holistically with all, all 25 of us. So it was a $25,000 pledge to, to that lawsuit. And we look forward to, to, should that ever come to fruition, actually having, having the partners to, to take it the next step. You know? Yeah, I will just say that uh, the House has done a tremendous job at really litigating these bills on the House floor and drawing out the problems with them. And there are many. What is really going on is this extreme national progressive liberal agenda that is trying to separate children from their parents and destroy parental rights in this country and they're making their biggest play here in Oregon and we won't stand for it. As a matter of fact, we're standing against it. And the 13 of us, because of ballot measure 13, uh, at 10 ex unexcused absences, uh, would no longer be able to run for re-election. That is how serious we believe these violations are. It is how serious we take oath, and it is how serious a sacrifice that we're willing to make to take this stand. We're not holding strong, uh, but they need to back up. They need your support. So, and everybody you know, we need to get this out to everybody you know and can have influence on to engage in this battle. And it truly is a battle. And as I said, I believe they will, uh, the other side will get vicious. And uh, I think they will stop at nothing to try to accomplish the goal and put. Perfect. Um, so uh, I'd like to ask our uh, representative, um, uh, Biki Reese-Iverson, that um, about why it is not house is not walking out as well. Thank you, Justin. It is on as you look at a holistic approach, it 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 does feel like both both parties should go and I or both houses should go. I appreciate that. Um, but the reality of 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 what we put together from the beginning was was more strategic in that. And and the reality of what's in front of us with ballot measure 113 is also strategic in in how we need to approach that that uh, particular scenario another part of this conversation is trying to really reveal what it is that's in the bill we want we want the members that are on the house floor and the senate floor we want the the oregonians to have an opportunity to actually hear what's in this bill and if we if if we don't expose it as best we can in the in the places where we can which is you know should be in a committee hearing but again we had a abbreviated version of a committee hearing to to see this then move forward um, if we don't have an opportunity for that then we don't have that dialogue to to cause the the um 
the gasps that we saw even in the from the the co-chairs of the the Ways and Means when we when we revealed the fact that that the age of consent went away with regard to abortion in House Bill 2002. So there were certain things that we were we were trying to achieve that direction. And uh, I asked the House leader to have our members hold, not walk, because we have a better uh, opportunity on the Senate side and um, a better opportunity to make the hold over there. We don't need both houses to walk at this time, uh, but we do need the house as a potential backup uh, later on if we get further down into this process and we run into emergency. Uh, we uh, have the ability to work together. Like I mentioned earlier and when we got started, there has been a collaboration between the House and the Senate that we haven't we haven't always had the the ability to do in the past, and I'm very thankful for that. And in, just as in as we walk through elections, but also as we've tried to walk through how how we make sure that we get back to our base and how we make sure that we're supporting each other, because it's it's not just the the folks that are in the House and just the the represent or the Republicans that are in the Senate, but rather all Republicans in Oregon, as we walk down these these two issues. Um, I do want to thank Justin and and Larry for for collaborating with us and and just trying strategically to talk about what it what does this look like and how do we make sure that we're doing the very best we can for all Republicans in Oregon. If I thank might you. add one more thing, Justin, I just oh, want to ahead. point out there's, you know, I was trying, I mentioned I've been trying to kind of keep track of some of the things that are happening in the in the chat and the the QA. And I think we're, I, I know that the host had to open it up and add more opportunity for people to join this Zoom. And I think at this point, we're over 600 people or right in there. And I just, I mean, that's a, that's a huge deal. And, and I can't say thank you enough for taking time on Monday evening to join us and, and have this conversation and, and, and show support for us. And, and. But I, if you're not going to tell the public the truth, don't put that stuff out. You know, be honest with the public. And that's what we've been pushing is transparency and uh, defending democracy. And we will continue to do that. Well, thank you, uh, Senator and Representative and um, everyone who's uh, joining here today. And I know we have other so many questions, but uh, I'm sure um, we're, we're not going to be answering uh, 600 different questions today. But if you can submit the questions by their emails or even the calling or uh, elected officials, then I'm sure they'll give you a correct answers that why they're fighting for Oregon and why they're um, representing us. And thank you all for night. And um, let's uh, have a follow up call in the future in the process. And then we'll do our best to support uh, support to the caucus and to be a great asset for everyone. Thank you all. Thank you.